Traditional education does not meet the needs of kids today. It is too rigid and inflexible and the learning is mostly passive. Master Guru 3.0 will be an experiential, interactive program for students to study and explore areas of interest within a 3D immersive world. Any topic of interest will be able to be experienced within the Master Guru Clubhouse via virtual worlds, situations, videos, and live interaction just to name a few. I will show you a few instances of how Master Guru can engage students on issues that the P2 Collaborative would like to address, all relating to student health and wellness. The first thing you want to do in the clubhouse is to create an avatar in the likeness of you. This is the clubhouse room where you can customize your avatar. You can change the color of your shirt, the color of your skin, the color of your shorts, whether or not you want to be male or female. And once you have created your avatar, now you can explore the rest of the Master Guru Clubhouse. That is our Clubhouse Helper. This is where students come to receive their list of adventures and assignments and where teachers come to run reports on their students. There are countless numbers of rooms, chambers, and halls throughout the Master Guru Clubhouse, each with an educational theme to help teach the students about a particular topic. There are also video games that can be enabled and disabled based on school hours and achievements. Here's a view of the upstairs of the clubhouse. There are an infinite number of floors, rooms, and virtual worlds that can be accessed through the Master Guru Clubhouse. Here is an example of one of those virtual worlds. This shows how the student can be whisked away to another climate, culture, or world just by simply clicking on a secret passage within the clubhouse. This could be a virtual weight room, a virtual kitchen, a virtual fitness center, any type of virtual scenario that would help the P2 Collaborative's mission. Let's show how a student receives his assignments. First, he goes to his iPad, clicks on the iPad, and this message appears. Go to the Clubhouse TV, watch the video on veggies and fruits and portions, then go to the Jeopardy game room and answer the questions on nutrition and eating healthy. So we go over to the Clubhouse TV, and watch the video. Again, this video is on veggies, fruits, and portion control, but it could also be specialized YouTube videos that would be prudent for the P2 Collaborative. A fitness instructor showing a fun dance form of exercise. A video showing various forms of exercise for students. And a virtual kitchen showing healthy ingredients, correct portions, and how to keep the kitchen safe and clean. The second part of the assignment is to go to the Master Guru Jeopardy room and answer questions based on what the video was about. Here's the Jeopardy game room, and we have nutrition, exercise, eating smart, and fitness facts as our categories. Let's choose eating smart for 100. And the question is, which of these foods contains a whole grain? White bread, egg, raisin bran, or plain bagel? And in this instance, C is the correct choice, raisin bran cereal. Each answer comes with a correct fact, to help explain why the answer corresponds correctly to the question, we can go back to the question, see what we chose, back to the answer, to again see the answer and the fact, and then we would hit the continue button to either go on to the next question or to the next player. Let's see how a teacher runs a report to identify student weaknesses. Teacher comes over to the computer, clicks on the computer, this will then generate a report. 
once we click on the view question, we can see the exact question that the student is having problems with. In this case, a healthy snack is a pear. We get the answer and the fact, and we can go back to, again to the question and the answer, and then hit continue to get back to the report. From this question, you can link to resources in New York Learns that are targeted towards that question and relate specifically to a New York State performance indicator. In this case, students understand how behaviors such as food selection, exercise, and rest affect growth and development. You click on the Educational Resources button, and now you will get a list of resources that you as a teacher can use in the classroom to help address those student weaknesses. These resources are all related to that specific performance indicator, which is related specifically to that question that was identified by Master Guru. So to reiterate, because in many cases learning is not fun and engaging and it often fails to reach all three types of learners, tactile, audio, and visual, Master Guru 3.0 will be an experiential interactive program for students to study and explore areas of interest within a 3D immersive world. Students will be tracked analytically and will allow for teachers to identify areas of weakness and then link to targeted resources they can use in the classroom to help address those student needs.